Well, the idea for the short film Clean Cut came from um, limitations. So we had this studio space that we were shooting in. It was really loud, so we couldn't have any dialogue. So I had to come up with a story that we could shoot in this little studio space with really no dialogue and everything. And, and uh, I tend to go on the web to try to find ideas, so I'm just clicking around and finding things. And I saw a Roomba ad. And immediately I thought, oh, a Roomba gets rid of a body. And that's kind of how it started with the idea of Clean Cut, was um, I have a pretty twisted sensibility. And so, I, you know, I've seen these Roombas like suck up like dust and dirt and all this stuff. And I thought it would be really interesting to see one get rid of a, of a dead body. Well, the production design was simple for our movie because we just wanted to find a really cool space, like a nice studio that we could work in. So um, that was great. We found it. Uh, the next thing was the cinematography, and that came from Ben Enke. I'm a really big proponent of a point of view. Like, my movies have got to have a very specific point of view, or what's the point of making them? And so for us, because it's a Roomba, it's this tall, which meant that we were going to live on the floor for the entire movie. And I love doing stuff like that where I get to see a completely new perspective um, as myself telling a story. So we had our cinematographer, Ben, literally laying on the floor. I even went to Menards and bought him one of those mechanic wheel things so he wouldn't have to get up and get down, you know, and all this jazz. Um, to just stay in that point of view of the Roomba, because that's who our movie's about. It's about this little circular vacuum cleaner. From a cinematography side of it, we wanted a really um, very specific point of view of being low to the ground to be our Roomba's point of view. I have three audience members in my head that I have to please on every single project that I work on. Uh, the adult, the poli-sci major, and the 12-year-old. And so the adult, it's got to have some kind of emotional weight, so it's got to make me care about the lead character, whether that be a 19-year-old daughter who's heading to college or a little white Roomba that's chopping up the body. Um, I've got to care about them. Uh, from a poli-sci major, it's always got to be like something where it's just a reference about what's going on in the world. Um, I don't like to be too heavy on that or preachy. I just like to acknowledge that it's there. And then for the 12-year-old, I like monsters. I like, you know, stuff that is, uh, that would make the 12-year-old in me laugh. And if I can please all three of those in a story, then that's the movie that I make. Being selected uh, for the Twin Cities Film Fest this year is, is, is awesome. I've been a spectator and an audience member for since, well, since it started. So it's really cool now to see that my work is going to be on the screen. I think the way that it's been laid out, I kind of compare it like with the other film festival that's in town, it's kind of like the Tribeca, you know, it, it, you know um, to the New York Film Festival, if that makes sense. You know, it's like a very cool, very hip film festival for, uh, for filmmakers. And so to be part of that this year is an absolute honor. And uh, yeah, to see, you know, I've seen, for me as a filmmaker, I love when the work is being treated with respect and how it's presented. And every time that I've gone to a Twin Cities Film Fest screening, I've always been really just blown away by how it's presented and how the, the filmmaker and the work is being presented. And to me, that's huge.